10 reasons why I love Microsoft Edge. Let's jump into it. Reason number one, Edge Drop. It's one of those things that you didn't know you needed until it was there and you've used it. So Edge Drop is a way to connect all your devices that are signed into Microsoft Edge and quickly share files and photos between them. Let's see it in action. Here on my computer, I'm going to open up the Edge browser. I'm in the Edge browser, and as you can see, I've got a number of tabs open at the top. Now, what I want is here on the right-hand side, I want to find Drop. Now, if you don't see Drop there, make sure you click on that plus icon and add Drop into it. I'm going to open up Drop. Now, you can see there's nothing here. However, on my phone, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open up the Edge browser. At the bottom, click on those three little dots and find Drop. Now, Drop is like a connection between the two browser instances. So what I can do now is I can click on this plus, I can say, take a photo with my camera. There we go. Let's take a photo of what we see in front of us, snap that picture, send it, and in no time, it will appear in the browser on my PC. You can see I have that photo right here. I can click on it and I can access it right now. I can also leave little notes or I can even send various files. So let's go ahead and send a PDF file in this chat window. And there we go. Drop now shows me that file on my phone. I can tap it and I can open up that file. Number two, Edge Collections. Now when you have lots of websites, you can structure this in a collection, but you can also add in notes and other information. So let's see this in action. Here in my browser, the Edge browser, at the top, I have this button that says Collections. Now, as you can see, I have a collection with my websites. And inside this collection, there are two links. And I have another collection, Researching Note-Taking Apps for Students. Here I have three links, as well as a little note and another note here. Now, how does this work? Well, you can add any website you want that you have open to a collection. So let's jump into my websites and let's add in a note. Here at the top, I'm going to click on Add Notes need to add my YouTube link as well. There we go, we can leave that in there. It's a great way of just gathering your thoughts as you're preparing for a project or as your students are doing research on a topic. They can add links to various websites and add them all to a single collection. Then they can always click on those three dots and they can share or send this collection to another application. They can send it to OneNote, they can send it to Word, they can even access these collections on their mobile devices as long as they are signed in to that same account. Number three, did you know that Edge can annotate and edit PDF documents? I have a PDF document here, I'm going to make sure that I open this in Edge, and here we are, we're in the view on Edge browser. At the top, I can highlight different words. So for example, I can highlight this section. I can draw onto this document, but I can also add in these boxes. So for example, I can add in a text box for I'm. If this is not big enough, no problem. We can make the font slightly bigger and we can even increase that spacing to make it easier for everyone to read. Once you're done annotating your PDF within the Edge browser, on the top right, you can export this or save this with the annotations. So this will now save this with annotations. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to just save this as file number two. And here we are. This is our annotated version of this PDF file. Reason number three, Edge has a read aloud option built in. So here you can see I'm on this article that I've written a while back and what I want to do is I want to listen to it. You can use this for ebooks or anything that you'd like to listen to. Here at the top, simply click on the read aloud this page. Supercharge your lesson prep with Twee, a free AI powered tool. And there we go. You can pause it, you can fast forward, you can skip to the next chapter, but you can also change those voices. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's use a different voice. Tool. Twee is a free AI powered tool that can help teachers generate text, create open open-ended questions, and fill in the gap exercises. As you can see, we have a range of different accents and ages available, all from within the Edge browser. Reason number five is the built-in web capture. Sometimes you're on a website and you just want to capture an image or you want to capture the entire website and use it as an image. Well, that's built into Microsoft Edge. 
Here, I'm on the amazing website Control Alt Achieve by Eric Kurtz. And let's say that I just need to take a quick little capture of the date. Well, what I can do is I can right click and then I will choose Web Capture. This opens up the capture. I can capture an area, capture the full page or select. Now I'm going to select this little area right here and then copy that. This has now been copied and I now have access to this text. So let's say I want to pop this into a quick word. I can go to word.new and there we go. We opened up word and I'm going to just paste this into my document. It has taken that text from the web capture and using OCR optical character recognition, it has transformed it into editable text. This is incredibly helpful. You can do the same with images. Let's say I want an image, no problem. Right click, go to web capture. And now I can also just capture this as an image and copy that image. I can also mark up the capture or do a visual search across the internet. I'm going to mark it up. There we go. We are going to simply draw around the 18 and then we can copy that onto our document again. Now here you can see we have one example of text and another of the image. Reason number six, send to devices. You can send any tab from your mobile device to your computer or from your computer to your mobile device as long as you're signed into Edge. So for example, I have Edge open on my mobile device and I have Edge open on the Control Alt Achieve website. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply right click here and send this tab to my devices. It's finding that device. I'm going to click on it and on my mobile device, you can see it allows me to open up that website right there. I can also do this the other way around. So let's say that I have found a link that I like, this link for example, and I want to share this now to my desktop. Well, I can go to the bottom, click on share, and then I can simply tap send to devices. It's finding my laptop, I can send it, and on my laptop, I see that notification open in a new tab, and that website opens up in a new tab. This is incredibly helpful and super easy to do. Reason number seven, Edge tools. These are additional tools built into Microsoft Edge that you can use to speed up your work. Well, let's have a look at them. Here on the right hand side, you can see I have my tool. If you don't see this icon, simply click on the plus and customize it to show the tools. We can open up these tools and let's see what we have access to. We have access to a calculator a unit converter, a translator, dictionary, world clock, all built into the browser. In addition to that, we can open up Microsoft's timer. It's right here. We can open up that stopwatch. It's there. Random number generator. We have it right here. We've got typing tests. We've got code formatters, rolling dice. And as you can see, we've got plenty of dice available. These are all built into Microsoft Edge and they're only a single click away. Really helpful, especially when using this in the classroom. Reason number eight, immersive reader. Now I've done a video on the immersive reader before you can find it at the top, but the immersive reader will really change the way you interact with the internet. So here again, back on this article at the top, I have the immersive reader available. I can click on this and it opens it up in immersive reader. I have the read aloud option available just as before, but I can also change what the text looks like. So here we can change that text size, make it easier to read. We have text spacing, again, making it easier to read, change the fonts and the themes. You can see here we have even more themes available. But what I like best about the immersive reader is the addition of grammar tools. So here in your grammar tools, you can see we can split the words up into syllables, we can even highlight our nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, all in different colors. So for example, I'm going to highlight both adjectives and nouns in different colors. Let's go with red and let's go with blue. And there we go. You can now go through this article and everything has been highlighted. Super easy to use and incredibly useful. Built into Edge. Reason nine. Edge browser has been integrated and built within the Edge browser. So here on the right hand side, you can see that Bing icon. You can click on that and it opens up Bing Chat, Bing Compose and Bing Insights. Let's go to Bing Compose and let's say um, write a single paragraph about education 
in the UK. And we are going to make this casual, paragraph, medium length, and let's generate that draft. And there we go, it's coming up with that preview and it's all built into the Edge browser so I can now use this, I can use it as a guide, or I can change it, maybe make it a bit more professional and regenerate that draft. It's going to regenerate what I've asked it to do. So AI is built into Microsoft Edge. We can also go to Bing Chat, and this is where we can now ask questions and we get a mixture of AI with search results as our answers to our inquiries. Really, really helpful. And then reason number 10, citation details are built into Edge. Edge has the option to help you cite your sources. Here at the top, you will find an icon that says citations. Again, if you don't see this, simply right click here and then go to customizing toolbar. That's where you switch this on. Once you have this icon, go through the article and if there is something that you see and like and would like to cite, highlight this and click on citations. This is going to pull in all the links it requires and all the information it can find. Now you can choose what format you'd like to use. Let's say you're using Harvard. We can cite that and we can even select the source type. This is a website and then there's a number of missing fields that actually tells me what's missing. So I can fill in the missing information right here. It also asks me when this was published. So this was April the 11th. So let's simply go there and then select April. There we go. We now have our source cited and we can copy this citation. This is the in-text citation and this is the full citation. When I've copied this, I can now go back to Word and let's paste this in. There we go. This is my citation in the correct format. Again, built into the Edge browser. So those are 10 reasons to absolutely love Microsoft Edge. Let me know in that comment section below which of these 10 is your favorite and was there a feature of Edge that is brand new to you that you've just discovered and you're definitely going to be using. Let me know in that comment section below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.